Hey Buck fans and RBT Nation, Mark Ramirez here with you to go over our first ever draft prospect breakdown, who is none other than Tristan Works, right tackle out of Iowa. Obviously you guys noticed that the Bucks are lacking in depth along the offensive line and the glaring hole at right tackle due to DeMar Dotson leaving a free agency. So who would the Bucks be getting in Tristan Works? Tristan Works crosses all the boxes when it comes to height, size, weight, athleticism, strength, everything you want in a right tackle. Dude, 6'5", 320, 34 inch arms, 485, 40 yard dash. You don't need that for an offensive lineman, but hell, he did it. 36 and a half inch vert, that's Mike Evans. Dude did hang cleans, 450 pounds, four reps. I think he broke a, a record at Iowa. The dude is a monster, but does that translate onto the field? When looking at Wirf's game film, a few things immediately pop off the tape when you watch him. He's usually bigger, stronger, and faster than everyone else on the field, and that's why he's being mentioned as one of the top four offensive tackles in the class. His athleticism truly shows off in the running game, as you can see here. He can easily get to the second level and go head hunting for linebackers and defensive backs. Let's break these two plays down really quick. So pretty much what's going to happen is Iowa's going to hand the ball off to the running back. Running back's going to give the ball off to the wide receiver for an end around, coming around the outside. What Wirfs is going to do is work down the line to give the illusion that it's going to be a run to the left, but then he's going to come right back down and get that run to the right. He's going to end up getting this cornerback who he's going to feel really, really bad once this big boy is about to hit him. Now we're going to look at the second run play again. This is Wirfs getting out in the open field, lead blocking for his running back. And yeah, he's supposed to end up blocking down, probably getting this linebacker right here but this linebacker comes down so he's eliminated from the play so Wirfs just continues to hunt and just finds space to lead block for his running back and here we go again find the hunt Finish him. I have no concerns with Wirfs in the run game he does extremely well when moving forward and uses his record-breaking Iowa strength to his advantage he likes to finish plays similar to how Ryan Jensen does. He plays with that mean streak and wants to put his man into the turf. When you're talking about the run game, you pretty much want leverage, drive, and strength. Those seem to be all positives for Tristan Wirfs. And just looking at this play, you have Tristan Wirfs here, you have a tight end over top of him. The tight end is going to down block on this defensive tackle, and Wirfs is just going to pull around using that leverage, drive, and strength and just annihilate this smaller edge rusher. Watch him as he comes around. Already, leverage, he's pushing forward, driving through his legs. He's literally going to control this whole block all the way to the sideline. Driving him, driving him, and finish. Again here, again here, Tristan Wirfs literally just locks up with his man right in front of him. When Tristan Wirfs doesn't have to think, he's pretty much pretty damn good, especially in the running game like I've been telling you. One-on-one, -on -one, he's just going to pummel you. He's controlling you, he's driving you, pushing you into the ground run that back I mean once his hands are on you he's already leveraging you out to outside he doesn't want you going down down the field with his running back and he's gonna start driving you out of the play again it's a smaller guy but still using his strengths to his advantage and then down you go now let's move on to his pass blocking ability when looking at pass blocking there's so many areas to look at where is his hand placement is he bending at the waist or at his knees what does his back pedal look like? There's a lot of moving parts for a 6'5", 320 pound man to control while moving backwards. Overall, Wirfs is a powerful dude and he likes to be moving forward rather than backpedaling and it shows in his footwork at times. Once he locks in, it's pretty much over for the defender though and he unleashes his strength onto them. There's plenty of tools, it's just having to use them consistently. Let's go over a really good pass set by Tristan Wirfs here. Watch everything I was talking about. Again, hand placement, how he's staying low, his butt's low, and the shuffle on the on the back pedal. So watching fast motion first, total control, tosses him. So let's go back and slow it down. So again, he's staying low. He wants to be in control of himself before that dude even comes. So he's back pedaling, shuffling, nice wide steps. Once he actually engages, reaches, he's going for that inside arm so the guy can't get inside leverage and come inside and he has that other arm on the guy's 
outside of his chest so he can't come around him this way. Going through it again, push him back, anchors, he has total control, then he unleashes his power on him. Let's go back, look at the other side. Look at this left tackle. Check this dude out, he's coming back. Watch his feet. Crosses over. That, where are you mechanical advantage there? There's none. The dude can just run right through you. This is stuff that good offensive tackles do. Yes, he may end up looking like a good block, but in no way, no coach will tell you to do that. Tristan Wirfs, good job. This guy, I don't know your name, but you didn't do so well. Okay, guys, let's check out Tristan Wirfs versus a good edge rusher, Josh Uche out of Michigan. This dude tries three different moves, and Wirfs has an answer for all of them. Let's check them all out. First inside move, Wirfs reads it quickly, pummels him. Second one, bull rush, Wirfs regains his balance, pushes, pummel. Third move, Uche tries outside, falls, ends up same. Okay, we touch, and he has a tendency to get beat inside at times. He also sells out a little too often to outside pressure, which puts him in bad positioning, and he isn't able to recover. Yes, he's still young, he's still developing, but coming in as a first-round pick, you're going to be asked to do all of this. And turning around, running to the quarterback, back to the line, that's not a good look for a first-round pick. Okay, let's go over what I meant by he stands a little too high on his pass sets. So if you watch him through this play, he good hand placement, I'll give him that. But the thing is, he starts bouncing around backwards. Almost like a little bunny hop, look at that. So he's not really doing anything. He's just holding the guy, he's not really enforcing his will. He's just lulling himself back into the pocket. And this is gonna disrupt the pass, you're getting in the face of the quarterback. So if he's gonna do a better job of pass blocking, bring your butt down. Start pushing the other defensive end away. You can't keep walking back into the quarterback because that's going to mess up the whole timing of the play. Okay, I also mentioned how he has a tendency to get beat inside. So the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So you can't give up inside pressure. That's the easiest way for a play to get disrupted is straight up the gut. So watching the play, Tristan Wirth sells out a little bit too much outside. So his whole base, all of his weight is going outside. He's giving up pressure to the inside. Look at the gap between him and the guard. You gotta work as a team as an offensive line. You gotta be able to prevent that guy from getting into that point. And just quickly bounces inside. He's already turning towards the quarterback, back towards the line, running after the defender. Never a good look. So again, I, I talk about how he gives in to outside pressure. So he just doesn't wanna get beat. So the thing is, this guy on the outside tries to come in, force the issue outside, but then stops and comes right back inside and Tristan Wirth ends up on his butt. Pushes up front, again, perpendicular to the line of scrimmage, very bad for an offensive lineman, crossing his legs, I mentioned that earlier in the video, again, a big no-no. Ends up off balance, his back is towards the line of scrimmage, the defender puts on the brakes, Comes inside, Tristan Wirfs ends up on his butt. Okay, on this play, let's look at the down and distance. Third and 24, there's one, two, three, four, five, six guys on the line. So you know Michigan's gonna be bringing some pressure. So the biggest thing you gotta do, fill in the gaps, don't let the quarterback get on the ground because this is gonna be a deep pass. Tristan Wirfs, again, like I mentioned, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. You can't allow inside pressure. On this play, again, he spills out to the outside rush. As the play runs, those two linebackers bail out. He sells out to the outside. Again, look at this massive hole where Tristan Wirth should have been, but he's selling out to the outside pressure. Even though he sold out, the dude countered, came inside, so now there's two free rushers coming at the, the quarterback. Tristan Wirth's looking back, back to the line, looking at the quarterback. Sorry, buddy. Down he goes. Okay, let's look at one more play where he gets beat inside. So, if you watch this play slowly, first step, okay, second step, look how big of a reach he reached on that second step. Let's go back. So that second step, he's reaching outside. The dude's not even going outside yet, and he's selling out. He's reaching out because he's hoping to grab him, 
stun, stun his move a little bit. Defender reads it, knocks his hands down, gets inside. Again, that massive hole I was talking about, that can't be left open. Open C, straight to the quarterback. Pressure, rush throw. Quarterback thankfully gets it off, but ultimately an incompletion. Okay, to sum it all up, guys, overall, I really liked Wirfs as a prospect. He has all the tools you want. I don't know if I would take him at 14 due to his pass protection issues. We do have five and seven step drops where he's going to be asked to maintain blocks for a long period of time. And considering he would be blocking for soon to be 43 year old Tom Brady, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Yes, he has God given ability and he can learn technique and end up turning into a pro bowler down the road. But as of right now, also, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. We will keep bringing more prospect videos leading up to the draft. Till the next one, guys. Go Bucks.